at home and in diaspora have begun signing a petition calling on the CBN, on the government rather, of Finland and the European Union and Nigeria to arrest Nandi Kanu's self-acclaimed disciple, Simon Ekwa. The petition is hinged on the sit-at-home order issued by Ekwa to residents of the southeast. The call has resulted in attacks and killings of innocent Nigerians by hoodlums trying to enforce it. Ekpa, also known as Ifain Unjoku, in a viral video from Finland, directed people of the southeast to observe a sit at home from the 9th to the 14th of December. Meanwhile, IPOP spokesperson Ima Powerful countered the order and directed Kanu's group members and residents of the region to boycott it and go about their business. Prof, let me start with you. And added more to the screwing of the majority. Federal government of Nigeria. In fact, the sitting government didn't meet Igbo land in chaos that it is today. It Sorry, Niger, what? Sorry to interrupt, but you are not playing this TC, TVC news video from the beginning. Yeah, I played it from the beginning. No, you're not. No, no, you're not. I've, I've, I've watched this before. You're not playing this. You're not playing the interview of the other guy from the beginning. No, I, I, we choose what we want to play here. We can't play all the whole video. If we have two hours video, you want us to play the whole two hours? No, but it's not two, two hours. hours here. You, you, you... <laughs> no, uh, you, do, you don't do that. We <laughs> print videos here. We show what we want to show. No, but you we mean, ask but... you to go. Listen, Mr. John, please don't get me upset. We play video here and refer you back to the channel, the owner, original source, to go and watch it there. So if we have a two hours video, we should we play to two, if we want to present it, to five videos a day and all of them to two hours you want us to play everything don't tell me where to play if you know you've watched it before then when we start talking talk on what you had i only played the beginning I'm, i don't even want to hear hear this man talking anyway because we don't have the time from the beginning you're talking we're not playing from the beginning this is the beginning this is how it started nigerians at home and in the and that is all i want you to hear the contribution from the main day i'm not interested because we don't have time for that so anybody can go watch the full video from the platform and to to uh, to, to for the best of my knowledge we in fact i don't want to go there please yes um thank you very much my people we are not going to continue with that video right there we just wanted you to know what is going on right there you can see on the screen nigerians are signing a petition for Samuel ekbert to be arrested for him uh, for the sit at home video that it did. So that is what is going on. I'm happy that John said they have watched it. So why do you want me to play it here? You know, I, we don't play all videos. If we have to play all videos here, we will spend seven hours playing videos. Before, then you not talk for another three hours. Then we are going to be here for 10 hours. 
Thank you. Uh, back to you, leftists. Yes, thank you very much. But before I go further, I want to quickly also appreci quickly appreciate uh, Pansat HD. Yes, Pansat, I think, yes. For his uh, super chat, not quite long. Let me quickly get to that super chat. I know I saw it. I want to I just appreciate you. Your, you did it again after the first one, yes. After the first one, you did this. Thank you. This is your second super chat for today. And after that, we had another one. We had another super chat. It's on the screen, Jaja. Just... It's on the screen. Oh, Jaja. Yes, Jaja, thank you very much. We want to also appreciate you. We, we just have one now again from Skystream America. We are saying thank you very much and God bless you all for all right, let's move this on. Your wonderful you. contribution. Yes. Uh, before, yes, I think uh, the first video was on first of Skyamu defending the undefendable. Well, I personally wouldn't want to say much on Festus because he's not even saying as a lawyer, he's a professional lawyer. And you can see the way he's twisting things. That Chatham House does not, it's not a place where, you, where a, 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 an aspirant. Why was Tinubu invited to Chatham House? Is it not because he's aspiring to be the president of Nigeria? So why is Kayamo confusing himself? Saying as president, he's, he's not president yet. In the world, during elections, all aspirant candidates are invited to places to talk to the people they want to govern. Other media houses, both local and international, invite them to tell us what they have for the people they want to govern. So why is Kayamo? Why is Tinubu's case different from the known in the world? Tinubu is not a president yet. And he's not behaving like one. He's not a president yet. He cannot take questions from Nigerians. Everything he asks him, he asks somebody else to say it. Is that not a ruler? We need a leader, not a ruler. Mind you, there's a difference between a ruler and a leader. This man has not been voted in. He has already acquired the position of, of tyranny. I will call it for ta, ta, tyranny. Good law. Delegating powers to say, okay, you, now you go answer that question. Meaning, he cannot answer it. He has nothing to answer. For those of you, like Tony, if you are still listening to me, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Tony, you can call me now. You can call in again or you call me. I'm ashamed. If a young man like you is supporting somebody that cannot answer direct question, does it mean you told if I ask you a question that you cannot answer it, you, you t t t tell your wife or your mother or your brother to answer it for you? And you want me to give you the job? So why can't we just be real? And and uh, or anyway, Tony, you, you already settled it by yourself. You say devil get followers, meaning even devil get followers. You agree. But they will follow and are better followers. It's very unfortunate that we are still having people like this. Festus is a shame. He's coming on national television to disgrace himself. We are not stupid people now. For those people that are stupid, they can continue. I'm using the word without apology. I'm using the word without apology. For those people that are stupid, they can continue to follow stupid people. That that changing the, the 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 norms, the standard of things to to fit theirs their position. So it's unfortunate that we that are not stupid will not go with such standard. There is a standard all over the world. If you have a television, and you know that that watch is in channel one, will you go and press channel ten, number ten to get Nigeria watch? You will not get Nigeria watch in ten. You get on other station. It's a standard. Number one is number one. Number two is for number two. You can also say you want to change this yourself. It just go, just not go to it just not going to work. It's not just going to work. It's a pity. 
Well, let me leave that stomach infrastructure lawyer. We all know him. So we are only just talking about him for those that are his followers. If you know you are capable, please join us to come and defend this man, this talk now. Join us. Come and talk to us. We are here. We are not running. That's for the indefendable defending the indefendable. First us, Keamu. And for the other video about um, the arrest of um, the, the bomb factory. But it's unfortunate. I, I still call this as uh, blackmailing. My own way. The police should have taken us to the factory. They said they discovered. They said the biggest factory in the world. Now he's saying they saw a Siena. Is the Siena the factory? From the report on this video you just played, it's different from what I read on the on the on the papers. The paper is saying they discovered a very big factory between a certain. Uh, land and so so place where a very big factory where bombs ID are made by the IPOP strokes is SCN. But from this report from channel, they said they pursue a Siena which was stolen and they now discovered these chemicals. Now is this Siena the factory they are talking about? <laughs> So I see this as a political issue. I see this as a, a something that the federal government is having hands in. This is not true. Yes, I have come. I'm coming out to say I am blaming the federal government for it because there's no evidence, no, no enough evidence to this. They should have shown us the factory since they were able to get some of these um, um, whatever they call chemicals. We knew recently how. Um, what's his name? When they attacked him, they brought so many guns to say they discovered those guns in his house. The man that ran to Benin, Republic. So I'm not going to take everything I see in the media. I am not an Apple fan, I, 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 IPOB fans, but we must say it the way it is. We know that, yes, there is an IPOB. Yes, I know. There is an ECN, ESCN. But most of these damages. The report are not actually done by some of them is political. We must not take that away. We are giving a big name to a dog in order to hang the dog. So that's my opinion. That's my take on that. Yes. And the other one was a uh, uh, signing of petition to arrest uh, Simon Epa. Yes. On that, I think if it is possible internationally, I think Simon should also go should be arrested and let him suffer what. Um, now the Kano is suffering today. Now the Kano cannot be suffering a cause for his people. And you are there somewhere going Creating against more him. Problem for him. Creating yeah. more problem for him. And you 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 are you are organizing what he's saying using his name. Then join him. He has told you stop. No, he shouldn't join him. He should be arrested. Then now the Kano will be released. That's what I mean. Join him in where he is. He has said, no, stop. Destruction you are calling for, not now. Stop. We don't need the destruction of the Nibu land. He came up in the media to say, no, he did not order such sit out home. He said he did not order it. That the enough destruction destroying his people is not his plan. So why are you not dead causing this chaos? The man for me, you know, the Kano has fought a very good fight and there shouldn't no other criminal agent should hide under him to cause more destruction to nigerians and to the to the eastern people to the Igbo people because most now, of destruction now let's start they, hearing from our Igbo brothers especially because we have more of them here today we will know if who is saying it how it is because this is a very sensitive right. sensitive topic very sensitive yeah. topic it's very, very, very sensitive topic. I think before we go back, I want to say, Chidi, Chidi, thank you very much. We we saw this. I was talking when you did this. And Grant, I was talking when you did this. But then, if I don't see it, Elvis will see it. We saw it. Thank you very much. Trigger. 
two two. Oh, Trigger, God bless Trigger you. Trigger said is in Nigeria right now, so we wish you a safe journey over there. We missed you on the panel, so hopefully you will return back soon and join us here, my brother. So, Trigger, enjoy your day and be safe. Thank you very much. And uh, we had another one from Nice Fred P. Nice Fred P. Man, God bless you, my brother. God will continue to replenish, to replace and replenish this token you are taking from your bosom. This will not be pocket again. Because whatever you give with love, it, it goes with love. This is this is giving from your heart. And God will continue to replace it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yes. Uh, we'll just be going straight to the panel now. We are starting and, from uh, Shuk Sibubweze. Mr. Shuk Sibubweze, please talk to us, sir. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Niger Watch and uh, everybody. Um, it's been a longer <laughs> day today, you know. In the, as in the heart, now so with the token. Yeah. Um, coming to Kiyamu, everybody knows who Kiyamu is. You know, for 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 a lawyer, senior advocate of nonsense, according to people. You know, to come up with, uh, and tell us that I am. Um, you know, if they give him a, a, a exam, he will pass it over. It's very disgraceful from him. Look at his explanation. You know, that uh, something they ask you, what are you going to do? You are the one to tell us what you're going to do. If you want to pass the message, you will say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. But these are the kind of people that, you know, I will assign this job. But not to say that you will just point them and say, go and do what you want they might they might decide no it's not time to take action you know so that is right away yeah coming to simon epa you know it's i don't know if anybody who who understand the what actually uh, freedom fighter fighting is actually is you know can come up here and say i support what simon epa is doing um, I was watching a uh, one uh, distant platform where you know I, I they they invited him. You know he come there, just an insult, insulting everybody on the panel. You know he told one I cannot speak to you because you don't you don't sound, sound Nigeria, your accent. You know, one lady asked him a very very important question. He asked him, what arrangement are you doing before you ask these people to sit at home? What food? Have you provided food? He was mad at the woman. So um, there's never a time. And uh, in my own way, I don't watch those um, platforms. You know, I feel that... Uh, you know, I don't agree with what they they do. You know, especially platform with violence. You know, because I, anything I do, at any point in time, you 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 come with violence. It is not for me. You know, it doesn't matter your justification. It doesn't matter. You know, yeah. So, um, Simon Ekpa, you know, last um Saturday as well, on uh, Saturday as well. I was on a platform where, you know, they discussed how they're going to take these actions. You know, they discussed on getting a lawyer to, uh, some Igbo youth, you know, on that platform discussed on uh, getting a lawyer to um, write a petition which they would take to a Finn embassy and they're calling on the, those in diaspora to do likewise to um, Finland. You know, so it's a great news that uh, we have a way of stopping this nonsense. You know, because we cannot be saying, "Hey, ESN is there to protect the people," and the, and in the other hand, if at all they claim that uh, uh, um, Simon Iqbal is not among them, because whatever thing he says, he's their member. He could be. You know, excommunicated, but he's still, you know, going ahead with their name. 
you know. So by the time we start, people start hearing, you know, his broadcast, the bad people, even if it is not these people doing it, the bad people can hide under this to perpetrate their evil act, including the Nigerian government, just like uh, Mr. Lefty said, that he can swear for them. They are desperate. They can use anything to frustrate this election. They can use any tactics to make sure. And because they are seeing what is going on, obese phenomenon is overwhelming for them. So they can use any tactics, any you know, little chance they're given. That is why we are crying. I, I, I said it here before, and I'm not going to uh, 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 um, you know, back down on it. One of the tactics they are using by holding in land is to even make that place violent. To make that place violent, because he they knew that this kind of people uh, uh, called uh, Simon Epa exist. They know those people will say no. They will, uh, you know, uh, use their 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 you know their hunger on a uh, land. Uh, they cannot be detained and the court pronouncing him free. These are the warriors. Anybody who understands our, our, our political uh, uh, mago mago, we know that it, it is not out of touch for the federal government to be involved in what is happening, including the state governments used as agents. So the, this is the good news if that way back him down. Let the South it be in peace. In as much as anybody who wants Obi to win, if South East is not in peace, it's very difficult because people will be afraid to go out. People will be afraid to go and vote on that day. Look at the, the, the news we are hearing. People are afraid to go and get their PVC in states like Imo State and in some area in Anambra State. So anybody with with you know, knowledge of politics, we, we know that if Nigerians have woke up, petitioned uh, 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 finish uh, this thing, and uh, do things to make sure that this guy don't continue with uh, um, um, uh, uh, this broadcast that uh, is bringing uh, 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 trouble in the Southeast, that is a work on address. Uh, coming to the um, the arrest, the, the police and the, this event, I don't. I have not watched the full uh, video. You know, I didn't know about it. You know, because I'm at work all day, so I, I I cannot comment much on that. You know, but what we are saying, whenever they get these people, let them show evidence. Let them do extensive investigation because you can't hold a criminal without you know getting links from that criminal. For you to to be able to make sure you bring the if it is a gang, for you to make sure that you bring the gang to to an end, because what is the point of uh, you know arresting somebody and uh, you know not getting lead how to arrest the hence is not one man's crime. These are the kind of things these people need to start, you know, uh, the, this question they they need to start answering it because you cannot hold people like this without getting names you need to get to those names and make it public and make it public it could be political it could be anybody sending them we need those information you don't just come say hey this is ipod this is that and close the case no we need to hear more like hope Uzodima is saying it is political these people are saying it's ipod Okay, if even if you hope also, the man knows that yes, it is political, but they're using iPod because there's nothing money cannot do. They can go to 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 um, people who claim to be iPod and give them money for them to do this. So we need okay. to hear more. We need to know more about Thank this. You. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. CM, is your turn now. If your internet will allow you to speak. Um, hello. Can you can yes. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um. Just a quick just a quick one on Festus Kayamo. I mean, it's a no brainer. What he's just saying is not is rubbish. 
Tinubu was asked a direct question, and all he did was a direct answer. You don't need to tell me he's already acting presidential by telling this man to do this. I mean, he they sometimes they think that some of us didn't pass through kindergarten, so I don't want to waste time in that. He knows he's just talking rubbish, and he's saying it in a Tinubu uh, TV station, TVC. So. Uh, you know, in those, so he can he can go wrong. Whatever he says, they give him all the time. So I don't I don't reckon with that. That is uh, insulting the intelligence of an average some average Nigerian or anybody who goes through a kindergarten. So I don't think he's just making a mess of himself anyway. So regarding a IPOB um, uh, bomb factory, you see the thing about Nigerian police is that uh, sometimes when they do certain things, I don't know. I have my way, own way of. Uh, you know, uh, analyzing issues. What they saw there can be taken from somewhere and they assembled. That is not IPOB bomb fire. If they are doing it, it cannot be like this. And you say you chase those people out, you couldn't even catch one person. You were shooting a gun battle, then they ran away, you got this. Then you, I mean, what, who know? You go on the internet, you can get the flag of Morocco. You do a cloth, you show it. And they cannot concoct all this and bring out. This is, uh, I, don't, I don't take them serious. Whatever they are saying, all these things is just to hype tension. Oh, I, if they are so efficient, why can't they go up the bandit and the, whatever is happening in Sokoto State and everything? So, I mean, in the uh, Northeast. So, some of these things, when they show it, I just laugh because by my own level of analysis, all these things doesn't make sense to me. And they know it. They are just making noise. These are just what they are concocting up to pin it and then say this person, this uh, the saw IPOB bomb factory is the biggest, that if they detonate it, uh, you know, see, you know, the speech wasn't coherent. If they detonate it, a lot of people will die, all those things. It's uh, rubbish. It's, uh, I, to me, it doesn't, uh, I, don't, I don't look at it that way. Um, I'm behind, I'm beyond uh, this, type of, this, uh, this type of reasoning with Nigerian police. We know what they are capable of. And then to make it look as if uh, the federal government is not involved. I was, I was, uh, I looked closer to see the name tag on the police doing it. It's something Chris Anyamu. So Anyamu is Ibo man. They will say, you see, I'm Ibo man that is even saying it. This is not a PRO from who is a non Ibo tribe. We know all these games they are playing. So to me, as much as I condemn, because I do, I, I do not like violence, I don't see the need. As a matter of fact, the thing about, the thing about uh, um, uh, our system is that Nigerians, I keep saying it here, if you want to know what is happening in Zenit Bank, you go to Zenit Bank, not to go to UBA and use whatever UBA tell you to interpret what is going on in Zenit Bank. IPOB, which brings me to the third point, Simon Eba in Finland. IPOB had structure, and they kind of structured it. He's not around. DOS is the one that gives his directive in anything. Simon Eba is an infiltrator. There is IPOB in every country of the world. If you come to UK, there is a membership. They will tell you. There is an IPOB um, branch in Finland. Simon Eba is not one of it. He's not a member. So how should people, why then do people always say he's an infiltrator? What he's doing with Dave Umar and all these things, he's just too scared. Now the can didn't approve of all those things. As simple as that. That's that you know, Simon Eba is this. Got branches all over the world. In America, they are. They are in UK, in Germany, everywhere. Now, even in Finland, they have it. There's a coordinator, national coordinator in every country, in France, everywhere. The question to Simon Eber is, since you are in Finland, are you a member of IPOB? Are you among the group? Is your name in the register? If they call the coordinator of Finland and say, is Simon Eber one of you? Listen to what they will tell you. So I don't see all these things. The guy is just, that's why I'm uh, getting him I'm not against it because it's not part of it. DOS in Germany, Chike Dozier is the person that the people should listen to. Chike Dozier has issued a press release saying that IPOB is not against any election in Biafra land, that they can they are, they are not. He issued, I think maybe at this point, I will be, it's even in Facebook. He has issued, I think, some weeks ago or something like that. These are the people you should listen to. What Simon Eba is doing is destructive. I do not sanction that. I don't want people killed for whatever reason. 
man they can in one of i keep saying it man they can if some anybody can go and watch it go to youtube type man the kadaria ahmed plus man the canon it will bring out a videotape in which kadaria ahmed went to interview man the canon he asked man the canon a lot of questions one of which is how are you gonna fight for this biafra man the canon said they with they fought before lost over five million lost everything that it will be foolhardy to go back and start fighting a war that they're not doing it that they will use diplomatic uh, measures to strangulate Nigeria into the world coming in to say conduct referendum for these people. Now they can know that if you stop, the world is listening to IPOB or something like that because the day you stop election, the Western world, America does not play with election. That is the will of the people. That is democracy. The day you say you don't want election, this they will not know that they will take out their hands. So that's why now they kind of knew all these things. All the mileages IPOB has gained by going to the State Department, going to UN, going to EU, and the other, other international bodies, even to International Criminal Court, writing the letters, getting correspondence. He knows that the day he tampers with democratic principle, they say, no, you are not democratic. That was why the world was against Arafat. Arafat does not want to democratize PLO. In those days, they said, go democracy. He said, no, you will be the single leader. So for an election to take place in Biafra land and everything they're conducting, that's why Chikedo said, we are not against it. So that because the world we hear that these people are peaceful, all they want is referendum. How are you going to achieve it? He said, by our civil disobedience, maybe the, uh, all the things, and then telling the world that exposing Nigeria with all the things they are doing, they will force them to say, look, these people you are killing, that we are not armed allow them to have a referendum, conduct it. Now they can't even say it, that they want a referendum supervised by the UN, US, Russia, Israel, and the EU. They should supervise the referendum. The moment people vote no, that is the end. So all these things, people are, that's why sometimes when I look at these things, I don't feel like talking, but however, you must say something. Simon, I condemn what he's doing. He's putting people's life in danger. He is not part of IPOB. The simple test is ask people in Finland, IPOB has got a family in Finland, a branch, like every part of the world. I mentioned it here before. Ask Simon, if you are IPOB, are you a member in Finland branch? Let, let, let him answer that question. And let ask the coordinator in Finland. He is not. He just wants to usurp power they, because they felt that the best way, according to, if you listen to one of the brokers, they said, Gowon, Yakubu Gowon said, Biafran war should not have taken place if he know that he could have infiltrated Biaf, I mean, Ojuku's Biafra, and tell them to topple Ojuku that it should have been easy to do. So they say the best thing to do to these people is infiltrate them, break them from inside. So that is the job Simon Eba is doing. As simple as that. That's why when he gave five days sit at home, nobody listened to him. Before people go to sit at home because Nandekanu, anytime he goes to court. But since everybody has seen that Nandekanu has been granted discharge, even uh, Michael Zekome came pleading. Say you say what what else do you want us to do? So people are is no longer going to court. That's why people when you say sit at home, say sit at home for what? The case has ended. People were sitting at home because of court case. Now the court has decided that now they kind of should be let go. So why are they holding him? That's why some of us are saying whatever it is, let Obi get in. By the time Peter Obi gets in, he will implement the court order that Buhari is refusing to implement. Some of us that are rooting for Peter Obi, that's the reason why we are doing it. Because Peter B gets in, this is a case of a, before you are a rule of law. The court says, set this man free, then you have to allow him to go. As simple as that. It was the same court they used to tell us that a Nigerian court has a proscribed IPOB as a terrorist organization. People say, uh, it's the court now, you have to appeal. Since 2017, the, the appeal has been on. For one day, it has not been had because IPOB is challenging Nigeria. I put the appeal that I we are not. Uh, um, terror organization, let us hear the case. They refused. So it's as simple. That's why, if, if not for any reason, why I'm voting for Peter Obia, apart from the, the overwhelming evidence that Nigeria needs, Nigeria needs to come back from the brink. It is for the case that when he gets in, all this court order that the federal government is not obeying, Peter Obi will listen to it. Because when you present him that the court has discharged the person, he doesn't have, tell the attorney general, let the person go. But Buhari refused. Why are they holding him? Just to be causing confusion because the lies of Simon is doing their bidding. That is why. So I want people to 
what I want, even if it's possible, Nigeria, watch, take it upon yourself. Find out is Simon ever a member? If you really you love IPOB and you say you are, you are an IPOB member, are you a member of your local branch? You cannot be a you cannot be a Labour Party member if you do not belong to your ward. You cannot tell me you are a member of IPOB in Finland when the Finland family they have a national coordinator. You are not there. You don't pay their dues, monthly dues or annual dues. You don't. Okay. Pay. Do you, Mr. CM? Do you think that is just creating chaos amongst the Igbo people? Look, let me tell you. Look, chaos of the highest order. Chaos of the he's he's a planted inside to the this to destroy pob direction is there why don't you listen to him he wants want to be doing something who is following him because when they give him money just creating chaos that's what i'm trying to tell you the simple question is if you are pob do you belong to a finland family no so what are you what are you telling us ipob is in every country of the world in america in uk here everything everywhere you talk about they have their family meetings that's why he, they, they, that's why the world do not see them as a terror group. But the moment they start to, now they kind of said it. He said the moment we, we temper with civilized, um, civil election, he said it that time. People were shocked. He said they thought they will get me. He said no matter how long it takes, we continue to agitate peacefully. We are non-violent. If I go and listen to that interview with Kadar Ahmed, he told her everything. He said the, the word he uses that he said civil disobedience and dialogue is far more potent than arms and ammunition. Because we fought it before and we lost lives. So why must you repeat the same thing again? Even now that the, the opinion of the war press is in your favor. People are saying when he goes to you and they grant him interview, he goes to EU office in, in Geneva, they grant him interview. So how they can you now go and then start to be anti-democratic, telling people, no, 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 he said no. He said they can never, and since then, they've not stopped any election. 20, uh, 20, the time of Will Obi are not coming for the first time. I've forgotten the year. Now they said, now they kind of say, look, sealed and delivered. Election took place. Even Saludo's own election took place. In fact, don't, 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 don't take me for it. Chike Dozier released, I think one that will look for it, released a memo with him more powerful. He said, IPOB is not against it. They, they've never said election won't take place. So who is Simon Eba? This is the directorate of state. That's why I said, if you want to know what goes on in Zenith Bank, Go to Zenith Bank. Don't go to Union. Don't go to UBA or Union Bank or Access Bank. If you want to know what goes on in Labour Party, don't go to PDP and say PDP is doing this. They use it to interpret Labour Party. That is the mistake Nigerians are doing, and that's why Simon. That's why if you mention Simon, nobody is with him. How can you say five days they sit at home? Who obeyed it? That tells you it flops because nobody will tell you. Say, look at this idiot. You're not a member of your local branch, and you want to impose yourself. None. They can never gave any power. The deputy to Nandekano was who came for, who left because he was bought over. So Nandekano dissolved, say no deputy except DOS. That's all. That is the hierarchy, and that's what people are listening to. So this time on of a people, yes, it's causing damage and bringing bad image to Dibu and the, the rest of people. Regret the lives being lost, like every other person we regret. But then for people to accord him, you seem to interpret as if it's not part. The simple test of subjectivity is are you a member? Yes, in Finland, in your local branch, no. So what are you then talking? Okay. He's not part of them. Okay. All right. From that, from CM, he said Samuel Ekba is not part of the IPOB. Yes. So uh, I would like us to hear from. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Mr. CM, for saying it. How it is. This is what I want. Just say it. How it is. If you are supporting Ekba. Let us know you are supporting him. If you are against him, let us know you are against him. You don't have to say something to make me happy. Say it how it is. Everybody saw what, uh, see how uh, Mr. CM gave his own submission. Just say it how it is. Don't deceive anybody. We are tired of, you know, uh, the deception from our satanic leaders. We cannot also be here deceiving ourselves. Let us know your color. If you be blue, let us know. If you be green, let us know. If you be yellow, if you be red, any color you belong to, say it how it is. Mr. CM just let us know what he stands for now. That is for Peter will be or nothing. So let's move on to the next person. Uh, Before we move on, we will quickly also recognize another super chat from Chad. Yes. Thank you very yes. much. This is another uh, one. Uh, another Chad. one from Nice Fred. Yes. Yes. And another one again. I think I saw one other one from who? I don't it's know. Also Jar, it's also Jar. It's also Jar. 
You know? Okay, it's also Ja. Yeah. We got one last one now from thank just so Ja. Much. Ja, thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Um, I would like our brother Midwest people to talk to us, sir. Hello. Okay. okay. Good evening. Um, right. You know, we, we watch so many video. I will talk about the guy that was trying to talk. You know, um, uh, talk about Tony Boo. You know, uh, covering up all those uh, things that were very obvious for everybody to see. The thing is that these people they think they are staying in the stone age of Nigeria. They don't really understand how things have changed so far, and the rate and the dynamic at which things are changing globally as we speak today economically uh, security otherwise and other things country with proper doctors who use proper data to formulate policy as strongly to cope united kingdom is example all the old european country now all those things are coming back to a country where we don't even have single data only policies from head it just reason is like this you jump into it and at the end they mess up the thing. The truth is that Nigerians are waking up. We're in a global age, and we're also in a media age. People understand very well that Tinubu, with his age, is, a, is going to be a serious disaster to the democratic system of Nigeria. If people say Tinubu is good, I support them. If they said he's a bad man, that is their home. But age otherwise, when it comes to the settings of politics, like they can champion him. That is for them. But when you look at his age, Tinibu is just like, it should be like a father. Those who believe in him will go and meet him and seek an advice. He shouldn't think of political party or power because there's no way he can handle the reality of the enormous challenges that is currently uh, uh, happening in our country. So Tinibu cannot handle it. He's very hard for it. And Atiku doesn't have Nigeria in his mind. He's a Dubai-based man. He has made his money. He cannot fix anything for us. They are just best of the safe feather. The only hope we have is Peter Obi. As a Nigerian youth, as a Nigerian person, Nigeria is the only country we have. We are unique people. I keep on saying it, two tribes in Nigeria. We understand we have numerous tribes. I, I can say I'm a Bini. I mean, the, the other one is Igbo. He's proud of his tribe, everyone. But as far as the Nigeria sector is concerned, we have two people. Every politician in Igbo land, in Edo, in Yoruba land, if they want to meet, irrespective of their party, they know where to meet. Take, for example, you see them in different party. When their daughter wants to marry or their son, you see all of them there. You see a lot of them that you think that they will never talk again. So you should wake up. The youth should wake up and unite. It is the common man that is for them a different tribe. And they make law for those common men. Every law they make is not for them. That is why the judiciary can set someone free. They can decide on their own and say, hey, no, don't release that person. And that's all. That's all. So coming to all these IPOB activities from the one when they started these the activities, uh, there was a point where people were having interest, but it gets to a time the way they were approaching, like so say Kano did not uh, advocate for a violent is lie. Even during the exercise time, there is a video Kano make and said there is weapons in Benin, use it, keep police, do this in Benin, which is not even Igbo land, which is not even part of Igbo land. Videos are there, video don't lie. But there are occasions where he also makes some video. He was saying it's free, and uh, we will do it freely. We will do it this, we will do it peacefully, and we achieve it peacefully. So a lot of his video for all these years, so many of them contradicted themselves, and some of them are loaded with propaganda. He went to United Nations. Who did he speak to? Are you talking to baby here? Do you know what it takes for someone to stand in United Nations and talk? Those are all video stuff. And it doesn't help the situation. And this is what is intoxicating this. You believe in that something big that is better than Obi is there. Everybody is not supporting it. Instead of we are supporting Peter Obi, we should join them in the movement of violence. The truth of the matter is this. We hope Nigeria work for every one of us. But if it doesn't work, we want to tear apart. I've never seen people from Benin say they want to be part of Braifa. It's never our identity. 
it's not he are, we have never been part of that kind of a way of life there are cultural difference between them we and them and we also have similarity in terms of approaching things so when you are dealing with those kind of people you have to be concerned about so many things how you people can clash and end up in a very big uh, crisis it's also there but when you point to it they will say you ate Igbo. They never hide this from us, this IPOB rise up. But we turn blind eyes to so many things because we look at it as an irrelevant something. But let's speak through to it so we can rob our mind. But thank God today, many Igbo men have been contesting. But no one has reached the point where Peter Obi is today. Some of the first voice that said Peter Obi, they are from Benin. If they go back to social media, they will see it. But today, everybody rise up and we are supporting him. In the north, it's growing. People say it doesn't have structure ground. My brother, the evil structure since we started this, it's so large. So, but God has given him structure on ground and that structure is the youth. Anything outside the youth, even people have a jacket, they have money, they have weaponized poverty. So people who, cannot, who have not been able to afford meals since money, the way it's going to reason is different for someone that had a very good... Uh, 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 a balanced diet. So it's, it's never the same way. They can never reason the same way. So our people back home are passing through a lot of things. We have demonstrated that when we point to say, no, we don't agree with what you are bringing, we are saying it on the basis of reasoning and interest, not on hatred. If it were hatred, I would never campaign for Peter Obi. But today I'm doing it. I knew very well it's an Igbo man. And my people are also campaigning and they knew very well as an Igbo man. They look beyond that ethnic uh, 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 identification. We saw him as a Nigerian and we saw him like a man that God will use to lay a new foundation for this great country. There is no single region in Nigeria that is poor. But one thing I'm very sure of, even when you break Nigeria, we are still going to look for ourselves. Because we definitely, no matter the abundant resources we have, we one way or the other, we will still go to ourselves and start negotiating how we can relate together as a people. If you live in a glass house, don't throw a stone. In the carcass of Wazobia, we destroy Nigeria. Politically, Igbo doesn't have a true space there. So that is why I said glass house. Now, as God is doing something great for, 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 for the same Igbo people to do something different from the rest people, you can see the effect of this so-called we are agitating for a new country. A country whereby the real problem of Brifa is the surrounding neighbors. Are they within your Brifa? The answer is no. You said it here just now. Yes, you have a culture of your tradition. This is how you see your king. The other people see the other way. Most of these things are, all of them begins when the British arrive. They never meet Korean in that place. And they have uh, eroded our history. We don't, instead of we to use this history now to connect to ourselves, we are not narrating the history on the basis of supremacy, on the basis of how this one hurt me, how this one cheated me, how this one is bad. And when you look at this, most of this history they are saying is dividing us more. And smart people that we regarded as uneducated, they are exploiting it. Tell me any engineering course where you will not go to history by that course you want to read. If you want to be a doctor, they will start with you with history of medicine. It's only in Nigeria they have tertiary institution, no history. So that is why they are producing people. But the, the knowledge they give to people doesn't help the society. It's a serious issue. Now, these IPOB activities, my worry is this. Is beyond political level. You see what the police narrated. From any lemma point of view, this is a clear example that politically, the federal government and the so-called governments of these Eastern people, they are deeply involved in this mess. That narration did not go well with what they presented. A factory without manufacturing a tools, they have this kind of equipment that can kill everybody, but they did not throw it on you and you engage them with go and they were fighting for their survival. My brother, sometimes when they talk, 
Now, why didn't you even show? And you know, when they present something, if you analyze very, you will understand that these people are is I want to place the Igbo people in a position where they can no longer allow Nigeria to see our huge problem that has been on ground. We are under a total mess when it comes to insecurity. But today, when you look at the news, it is as if the activities of Igbo youth who are demonstrating is not a problem of our country when it comes to insecurity. But the reality is that it's not that. That's why we are appealing. This thing is not on the rifle track. They should stop it. They should, you know, desist from anything that will make people to be dying unnecessarily. Because Nigeria government is not honest about solving this problem. Everything they want to present to people is that Igbo. And the foolish thing, you see some of them. Even a full that had an accident along the road, they want to present it. It is his essence. They want to take our land. What kind of foolish people? Why your people, more than 70%, are in the land of people you are pointing to? And you know the attitude of those people. Their culture are not the same of your own. Please. It is hard time we should declare ECMA activity as evil, as the most stupid thing that has ever happened in the land where Igbo people settle. It's not going well. They may exploit this issue and turn it to something else. History told us the civil war before it started, it was this same two ethnic group from the northern part and the Igbos. Gradually, gradually, this one came me, this one came me, this one came me. We did it, we did it, we did it until we entered the first civil war. That is why when some people narrate history, they want to tell you the part where they suffer. The other one will be telling you the other where we suffer. To bring unity to people is not a big problem. Okay. Nigeria is not like a conquest state. It is our time we apply wisdom to see the fact that most of these news about people, they are not real. They are just fake. But there are intellectual people you cannot catch up their mind if they have chance to express their own feeling. These are not, I, I am not convinced in any way that these are from anything that have to do with IPOB. Most of the places they have been showing that IPOB operated in this time, but you don't see this kind of weapon there. They have never thrown grenade of where they show all these kind of things they are using. And when you look at these things, you say it's a factory. Show us equipment that enables them to do it. I will make it factory. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, brother, uh, Midwest people. Uh, Thank you, thank you. Before we move on to the next person, I'd like also to listen to Namde Kano, what he said here. What does Biafra mean? It means freedom, liberty, fairness, equity, and justice. In practical terms, these are very good sounding words, mm -hmm. but in practical terms, what does Biafra mean? Confederation. So, a weak center, very, weak. very strong regions. Absolutely. Have you had a change of mind, therefore, about getting an independent Biafra? Because that's what I seem to be hearing. No, I've not changed my mind. No. An independent Biafra means going back to the way we were before the white man came. Okay, so you're not talking about a federation when you say a confederation. You're not talking about a federation as part of Nigeria. You're talking about total independence. Absolute independence. Complete independence. Yes. Now, is there anything that can happen that will make you change your mind about this particular direction? No. So it is either Biafra or nothing else? Or death, yes. Or death? That's correct. If push comes to shove, yes. will you go to war? No, because truth is a far more potent and deadlier weapon than bullets and mortars. So truth. no war? You've yes. ruled out the... Absolutely, I don't believe we war, no. No war. When I say Biafra ordered that I'll keep pushing, either I am alive, I die in the process, I won't stop. Allow me to repeat, if you don't mind. Had sovereign national conference been convened by the powers that be, where every ethnic national, I said every, I don't care if there are 600, I don't, I don't care. Everyone is All the 500 plus. Everyone to together to say, this is all, others can delegate I don't know, uh, uh, powers to, to other people to attend on their behalf. Sit down to say, what type of country do we want? Sit down, discuss, agree. I can begin to perhaps submit 
to is your position. Is it too late? It is way too late. They've killed too many people. They've ruined too many lives. They've wasted too many souls. How do we bring those people back? If the federal government, given the agitation that is going on, becomes convinced that, you know what, these people have a point, um, it is time to actually address all these issues, mm -hmm. and they begin to systematically address some of these issues, would you change your mind? No, because of the deceptions of the past. No trust? No trust. Aburi was there, it was negotiated. Nothing happened, 1968, if I recall. Mm -hmm. And the CONFAB report, what became of it? How about the three R's, reconciliation, reconstruction, and heaven knows what else? What became of them? Nothing. Calabas seaport is not working. Can you tell me why it's not working? It's a seaport used by the colonial masters. Why is it not working today? How about you, Guacha? Seaport. Why is it not being used? Why not worry? Why must we allow only Lagos to function as a viable seaport? In England, where I used to live, you had Liverpool, you had the Southern which is Portsmouth, House of Hampton, everywhere. Okay. I want me to play that video because we need to see how this whole thing started. And I have one more video I want to play before we move on, please. You guys permit me. This Biafra movements, agitations, and all that. I would like us, let's listen to this video here. You know? <laughs> Please, somebody mute yourself. Mute yourself. Noise is coming out from somebody. Who is that? Please mute yourself. Thank you. I said it before. What is going on in your background? Nobody is really interested. You know, we are only interested on your contribution. We don't want to hear what you're doing in your house. Let's listen to this video here. With us today, Colonel Obasanjo. And unfortunately, the other... Field commanders are not able to be with us at this moment. But we have Colonel Obasanjo, who is the commander of three Marine Commando, who have been able to capture a number of senior secessionist officers. And he had brought them to Lagos to see us in order to let us have their acceptance of the spirit of one Nigeria. To formally give up secession and report for reappointment and redeployment. Felicitations. Your Excellency. Let's see you again. My pleasure. How are you? Very well, indeed. Let's see you again. Thank you. Patrick Amadi. How are you? Excellency. Glad to see you again. Thank you very much. Let's see you again. Sad Welcome experience. Out. Honestly. Let's see you again. And I would like, therefore, to take this opportunity to say that I, Major General Philip Ethiam, Officer Administering the Government of the Republic of Biafra, now wish to make the following declaration that we are please everybody should pay attention to this declaration leftist please i know you're good at analyzing things like this listen to it everybody listen to this declaration here biafra now wish to make like therefore to take this opportunity to say that i major general philip Ethiam, Officer administering the government of the Republic of Biafra now wish to make the following declaration. That we affirm we are loyal Nigerian citizens and accept the authority of the federal military government of Nigeria. That we accept the existing administrative and political structure of the Federation of Nigeria. That any future constitutional arrangement will be worked out by representatives of the people of Nigeria that the Republic of Biafra hereby ceases to exist. Let's hear that part again. People of Nigeria, that the Republic of Biafra hereby ceases to exist. 
that the Republic of Biafra hereby ceases to exist. So what happened here? I want somebody to take us through on this. What happened and what is happening today? Okay. Um, can I come in, please? I okay. can. I, I can. Is, is it your turn, Alex, or is it my no, turn? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, the next person now is, uh, I think it's John now. John, is your turn now. Exactly. All right. So let's uh, let's start. Uh, Festus Kayamo. Well, Festus Kayamo is an employee, so he's just doing his job. So I don't think we should any any of us should be surprised by what he's doing. He's just doing his job. You wouldn't expect him to do something that's not his job. So I don't even know why this is newsworthy. Are you expecting him to start saying that he agrees with OB? Are you expecting him to start saying that he's going for another candidate? He's doing his job. If he wasn't doing his job, he'd, he'd get fired. So I think that one was a wasted one. When it comes to the, uh, uh, the police uncovering the factory by supposed IPOP, you know, the thing, that always, the, always, the thing that always just cracks me up is why are the IPOB or why are the Biafra um, criminals, why are, they always so, why are they always so dumb? Why do they always go and do their crime with their Biafran flag? Have you guys noticed that? Whenever they bust them, they always have a Biafran flag with them. It's like they know that they're going to go rob a bank or they're going to go blow up somewhere. Or they're going to go kill people, but they never forget to take along their Biafran flag. It's always it's just it's just it's always just comical. They always, they always have that flag there, and they're always they're always dressed in I you know Biafran uniforms because you know they're they're not smart at all, or maybe. It's the uh, Nigerian people that have forgotten that they don't trust their governments. They don't trust their police. They don't trust their army. They don't trust INEC. And all of these people are corrupt. So next time they want to blackmail people, I think they should just do a better job, right? Ditch the flag, you know, get, the, not, you know, get people who can speak like very fluent Igbo, even though there's Fulani and houses in Yoruba that can, even white people can speak Igbo. Get people who are really like, they speak Konk Igbo, you know, get those ones. And, uh, you know, I think that one, I think that one will be more believable. Uh, but the fact that they have the, they, they've discovered the, the biggest bomb factory ever in the world. And, you know, it has a Biafran flag everywhere. I think this is just rubbish. These are the same people that told you that no one was killed in NSARS. And uh, CM, you're absolutely correct. They always pick an evil person to be the person telling you about the news. We've, we've, we've become wise to these sort of news announcements. We no longer fall for them. We think that they are comical at this point. In fact, the international community believes they're comical. The international community doesn't believe them. The only people that believe them are gullible people in Nigeria that hate Biafrans for one reason or another. Going on to Simon Ekba. Um, you know, at the end of the day, let me let me tell you something. You have a petition going around saying that you should arrest him. You also have a petition saying that he's doing uh, what he's legally free to do, which is fight for freedom. And I think that when you show Namdi Kano's uh, videos, people always kind of pick and choose what they show, right? There's nothing wrong with the video that you showed of Namdi Kano, but you, I think what's incorrect is to pick and choose what you show. You need to follow the entire narrative. And the entire narrative is that people are seeking self-determination. They are freedom fighters. What does that mean? Go look at the life of Nelson Mandela. Go look at the li li life of other freedom fighters. These people were not always um, uh, nonviolent. Nelson Mandela believed in violence in, to, in order to achieve his goals. Now, is that wrong in the, in, the, in the realm of international law? No, because you are fighting for freedom. Nigerians are forgetting that they're the second or third most terrorized country in the world. They're forgetting that Fulani herdsmen kill people and rape people every single day. So when you're talking about fighting for your own freedom, fighting for your own existence, what you are allowed to do under international law to protect yourself, it's beyond just carrying placards and saying that we want freedom. You can defend yourself. You can fight against your oppressors. You can kill your oppressors. Those things are legal under international law. It's legal to defend yourself. And all of these people, you know, when I think about all of these people, uh, you know, saying, oh, Simon Ekba is doing something wrong, please make sure you have evidence. It's always important to have evidence. If you're going to say somebody is committing a crime, make sure you have evidence. Because other than that, you're just committing defamation. You're committing slander. You should go and go and go and actually gather evidence, make sure that it's not people blackmailing him, and present it to a, 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 a competent court. The last time I checked, Simon Ekpa is not hiding his face. He's someone that you see his face 
everywhere on social media. You have his address, you have his phone number. I don't think that uh, the rest of the world, at least the developed world, has a pitiful uh, intelligence uh, apparatus like Nigeria that can't even find the Chibok girls. The intelligence agencies of the world knew where Namdikano was, know where Simon Ekba is, know what's going on. And to the best of everyone's knowledge, they're not arresting him. You know why? Because he's not breaking any laws. So I think that it's really important to understand, like Chuk said, what is freedom fighting? What does it mean to be a freedom fighting? What, go and look at the life of uh, Nelson Mandela. Did they not call him a terrorist? D did Nelson Mandela not get called a terrorist, even by America? So when you say all of these things and you pull all of these things together, millions of people watch Simon Ekba. They're not all stupid. Yes, some people are, are thinking that uh, you know, the current structure of IPOB or the DOS hasn't been infiltrated, but Innam Dikano was kidnapped and eight days went by without that same DOS saying anything. Please go and review the facts. Go and go and read. But I don't even expect you to because most, most people who are listening to this platform are not Biafrans. Edo is not in Biafra the last time I checked. In terms of this uh, declaration that, um, that you showed this last historical video, I'm glad you showed that. It's actually really important that you show these things. Because at the end of the day, anytime a war ends, anytime treaties are signed, there are a list of things that bring a war to an end. And that's why I keep on saying the war has actually not ended. Because on one hand, you know, it almost, it's almost like it sweets and I just watched to say, hear somebody say that, oh, Biafra no longer exists. But it, at the other end, you don't have your historical facts. Millions of people around the world, millions of people in Alibo, millions of people in Biafra land do not think that Biafra does not exist. And they're continuing to fight for the right for, to self-determination. And you can't do anything about it. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. There's nothing, just like you are in the UK, Mr. Nigel Watch, and you cannot stop people from Scotland from saying they're gonna leave the UK. You are not going to, be do, going to be able to do anything about the millions of people who want a referendum and want to leave Nigeria under peaceful means. Now, if it turns out that the Nigerian state wants to take up arms against people who are, who are advocating for self-determination- Mr. John, Mr. John, it's not about me. It's, what, it's about the video I played to you. It's not about me. Okay, yeah, it's not, it's not about you. So again- it, so Don't again, be referring to me, please. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. why not? Okay. It, you, uh, it, uh, it, please, uh, can I say something, Mr. No, Dunhee? No, you can't, it's, it's my- No, you wait, wait, you wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop trying to interrupt me, okay? You can say whatever you want to say, but at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to stop the Afro, period. At the end of the day, it's up to the people to decide where they want to be. Do they want to be Nigerians or do they want to be Biafrans? And the world is talking about Biafra. The world will continue to talk about Biafra. And at the end of the day, a referendum will come and you'll see based on the referendum that the majority of Biafrans don't want to be in Nigeria. There's nothing you can do about it. It's the, the, what we all wish and hope, what we all pray to God is that smarter people, smarter people actually start to come, come forward and like, like uh, Michael Zuckerman or like, um, uh, all of these other people that are saying self-determination is not a crime. And it doesn't lead into a war. We hope that Nigerians can be human beings, civilized people, people with brains, and say, you know what? All around the world, people seek self-determination, and it's not a crime. So that, that's the only thing. I don't, you know, people calling for Simon Ekba to be arrested, please get, get facts. Don't, <laughs> people saying that, uh, 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 you know, there's the biggest bomb factor in Ebony State, the biggest bomb. So these people constructed the biggest bomb factor in Ebony State, and nobody realized it until they arrested people who just happened to be carrying a Biafran flag. It's like it's like you can they they feel like they can tell you anything in Nigeria. Python swallowed your money. A monkey ran away with billions of dollars. Rats chased Buhari out of the Asso Rock. It's like Nigerians. We have to start using critical thinking skills. It's not a crime to want to be your own country. Nothing will be able to stop that. If tomorrow the, the great Benin Empire and the people within that beautiful place decide they want to, you know, they don't want to be in a country where the Sultan of Sokoto is bigger than the uh, Oba of Benin, like it is today, they, if they want to seek self determination. The Sultan of Sokoto is not bigger than the Oba of Benin, please. Please. Oh, well, see, that's an opinion. That's an opinion. Please, please stop that nonsense. But it, no, it's an, it's no. Stop. You stop that nonsense. No, can you stop? No, you are being stupid. No, no, I, don't, don't, don't insult me. Look, the, the reality is within this construct of Nigeria, if you're being honest with yourself, the Sultan of Sokoto 
is going to be given pres precedence over the above Benin. That's a fact. So if that does, if you don't want that to be the case, you too can seek self-determination and you can have whatever you want in your own country. But it's never going to change the fact that you're not breaking the law. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Alex, we said it just now. Don't interrupt him. Don't interject him, please. He's not nice. Just wait for your turn, please. Alex, have to apologize because... Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to use yes, that tone. Yes, my my sincere apology. Okay. Yes, no, but you're not. You're, no, but you're you, not actually. You're the proud fellow. My, you my, cannot my use that kind apology, of but, uh, tone up on someone. Yeah, but you're not. You're not like, Alex, why are you doing this? You have but, changed recently, and no, I don't. No, like, no, no, Nigel, you have to be to... a bit rude to to people on this on this panel. That's he wrong. He doesn't have to apologize. The fact. He, the, the, fact, the fact is, he doesn't have to apologize. I understand that it pains people when others have their own opinion. They, it, 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 and that, doesn't, that doesn't agree with them. And they think that it ha they have to degrade people. I, I, I've grown very thick skin. I'm like a uh, polar this bear. This is not right. He's not no, it's not nice, Alex. People you call don't me stupid. Do yeah, can you imagine uh -huh. what Biafrans are going no, through no, back no, in he Nigeria? Has, he has apologized. Stupid, no, no, no. If people no, if no, want to no, call John, me stupid, John, John, that's John, fine. Okay. One thing about John, no matter how... What, that. whatever you, somebody's talking um john see, i joined see. my brother alice to apologize for that like i've always see. said on this platform anybody can disagree Being with civil, he, he used the words to feed that he has apologized okay. that's fine um mr cm your network is not very clear but i understand what you're trying to say that alice um uh, alice i've already apologized that's fine but please Let's be conscious about what we say. Let's listen to ourselves. You know, nobody is a baby here. Nobody is feeding anybody here. You know, and, yes, I, and in, in most cases, everybody are here. You don't know who is who. We shouldn't just carry insulting anybody as we like. We should respect every everybody. Even though you want to interject, even though somebody says something that you don't like, please, you know, you must respect their opinion. Let them deliver their own speech, you know? Thank you very much. Um, let's see who is the next now. That was uh um okay, Alex, talk to us before you Mr. ECBD. So before let's go, before let's we go, let's quickly also recognize uh Grant again. Grant, thank you for this uh super chat. And before before you did that before Grant. Yes, I'm going there. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Go uh, let's just really quickly. Let's read this. Let me read this out loud. It says, John E., if you think Biafra will come and Biafra land will be like London or America, keep dreaming. Wish you the best. So is it is it so painful to people? Is it just so painful to people? It's, it's not crazy. painful, it's John. It's so painful. It's really all wrong. If they, if they pay me, people John. well, well. If they no. pay people. If they pay them well, well. Okay. Can you imagine? See, it, all right. John, John, John E., excuse me. Thank you very much, Jaja. Yes. Jaja, thank you for you see, him, see him. I P O B don't invade. They don't invade your network. Don't just talk because not they hear you. Your network is the worst ever. Yes, can I can I come in now, please, guys? I want to appreciate Jaja for this. Uh, before Jaja did this. Grant before now also did. Uh, Alexander, okay, after Alexander Gomez, we had uh, Jaja, and after Jaja, thank you, my people, thank you, my people, all of you that super chatted us. We are very, very grateful. Jaja, thank we you, had, Grant, thank you. We uh, have Grant, all of you that super chatted us today. We are so, so grateful. Thank you. May God bless every one of you. May your pocket never end. And after up. Grant, we have Grant again. All right, let's move on. Thank you. Thank you. Let's Thank you very much. Uh, Alice, go ahead. The last time I checked, I am one of the people who have always been a pro Biafran person. I'm a student of political history, a political engineering, or political science. I'm, pr I'm presently doing my, my own master's degree on the same departments and, different, and the same studies. I will not be cut out by nonsensiating characters or on the social media platform. I will not be distracted. I believe in the Ojuku philosophy. I believe and I support the motives of our great Ikemba of Inewi. I'm an adult son, but I'm too educated to be fooled. 
I believe in the Biafran dreams. We're looking at the insecurity in Nigeria, looking at the killings, looking at the corruption, looking at the leadership failure, the electrical darkness, the mass migration. I believe in the Biafran dream. Of course, Catalonia is still agitating to leave from Spain. The Scottish wants to leave from the United Kingdom. Pakistan broke away from the present day India. South Sudan left from Sudan. I believe in Biafra. But some of you guys who are the so-called IPOB, you must learn to be polite about your agitations and identify who your true foes are. Don't fight people who are fighting for you. Don't be rude to people who belong to, to the same idea, to, to the same school of thought as you. You are not the only one who can speak English. Living abroad doesn't cause madness. You don't fight for a nation alone. Even in the civil war, people were, were fighting for you free of charge. Missionaries came from what, you know, everywhere. You should learn to, to also fish at those who are fighting for you with your time. From day one since I joined Niger Watch, go and check my historiography of my contributions to this platform. Each time I hear about, I mean, whenever Biafra is mentioned, I stand up tall to defend Ojuku because of the NSAS killings. Because this is not how to run a nation. We must be honest. But that doesn't give you rights to constitute nuisance on the media platform. Telling me, telling me the Sultan of Sokoto is bigger than my king? And you expect me to just swallow it to clan and sinker? Not under my watch. The last time I checked, we have about 11 first class kings in Nigeria. And no one is bigger than the other. Alex, are you my saying, king about Benin is one of them. Alex, are you saying that in the, Ni in the Nigerian state? So please, currently... you said I shouldn't distract you. And I just do your job. If it is, my, if it is me doing this now, right. I will be called sorry, names. Sorry, sorry, now he's distracting me and no one is saying anything. Sorry, sorry. So I don't know why you guys are not, you know, sensitive enough to know those who belong to your school of thoughts. You will not leave your Biafra alone. Nigeria will eventually break with the way things are going, unless I'm not a professional. I was trained for four years. I spent, I mean, studying these things bit by bit. This is not how to run. To be honest, is is even long, is even long coming. The 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 country ought to just fall apart by itself. And it will happen. Apart from the coming of Mr. Peter Obi, just Obi is the only tiny thread holding this country. The American academia in the year 2000 predicted that in, two, that in 2015, the country was going to break and go into a bloody war. Good luck, Jonathan had that. I mean, he, he just had the chance to make that happen. But he said, no blood of any Nigerian is worth my own, my own personal ambition. It was, it, it, then that war that was pronounced was also, you know, uh, delayed. It's just a matter of delay. So I believe in the Biafra dreams. And yet, I'm being attacked by the so-called Biafra person, I pop person. Everybody living in the United Kingdom are, are not British. A lot of them are from everywhere. They went there, key to the system, obeyed the laws, you know, came to the society, integrated, that's how it's going to be if you even have a nation tomorrow called Biafra. Learn to respect people. You don't even want Biafra and look at the way you are behaving to people. Insulting everybody, calling, calling people names, lauding, I mean, declaring Biafra supremacy. Come on now, guys. Let's not do this. No black person is more black person than any black person. Come on. We are all humans, man. Let's have that respect. Where did you read in any book that the Satan of Sokoto is more than the king of Benin? Is Where did question? you read? Which book gave you that, that quotation? Do you want me to answer your question? Have, we, have you seen us going cap in hand, begging them? They come to us. We don't need them. I just want to trash that. They're all at the same level. Um, that speech... And I just watched that you played. It broke my heart. That FM um, speech broke my heart. Each time I, I watch that clip and I watch the six, the six 
is it six hours or five hours Ojuku speech the day he declared Biafra? It breaks my heart. Looking at what is going on. L looking at this state of infrastructure that decay. Looking at the way Nigeria has only become a zoo. Let's let's be honest. Not the county is right. The guy is right. Is this a country with with the way things are going, with monkeys and animals swallowing money? This is not a country, man. For me, this is not a country. This is not how to run a country. So every when people want to succeed, let them leave. The the middle bed front want to leave too. The the people of the middle bed. At the time, those in the Delta State, they want to leave too. Everybody wants to leave because the country is not helping anybody. A country that don't care, that don't know how to run, how to treat human beings. This is my philosophy. I believe people should be treated well. Government should be responsible. We don't have leaders in Nigeria. We have dealers. So Peter Obi is the only way, is the only thread holding, holding this country together. And if Peter Obi wins and it changes, the way was said, those things have changed. He does this to the bank wagon of this killer machine in Abuja. <coughs> Nigeria won't last six months. It almost happened during the NSAS. It will happen again, eventually. It will, it will happen helplessly. Nobody can help it. Because every is a natural instinct, human instinct of life. It's a survival instinct. So whether we talk about it or not, we shy away from it or not, the Biafran dream or the, the breaking, the, 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 the tearing apart of Nigeria, unless we sit down, like, like that guy said, Namdekanu said, we sit down and we renegotiate our state together. This is the only way out. We did it in Aburi in Ghana. Ojuku's wristwatch was recording. Gowan was a stark illiterate as a then 29 year old president. He didn't know the meaning of confederation. He didn't know. He signed the document. When Ojuku got to Biafra land, everybody was happy. On Aburi, we stand. Everybody declared. Oh, Bafemi Awolowa told Gowan, you are a fool. You've given them their country. Do not agree. Keep on fighting. Keep on killing them. Block their source of food. This is how the war was lost. At the time, Biafrans were winning the war. Why are we talking about this today? It's very important we know what caused the war and we can avoid it because it's coming again. It's very close to us, guys. So we had the national confab in 2014. Now the canon said it just now. I'm not just talking, I'm talking with facts because I'm a student of history and politics. What the resultant effect of that confab, if it was implemented, it, it would be a different story. But they sat down on it. The, the, the full molecular machine in Abuja sat down on that confab resort. It's in Abuja there. They should visit it and treat everybody with the proper federal character. So those in the East agitating for self actualization is not a crime. He's not, I would be lying if I say it's a crime. I will never be against anybody who wants to leave this fraudulent social contraction. Who made us one? Flo he, he, he's in the Flora Shaw and the Lord Lugard, 1914. After a bloody war from 19 from 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 1890s, which Billy Kingdom was also invaded, and my king was deported to Calabar. Have, have we forgotten the massacre that took place in this kingdom? For that reason, I have not forgiven the British up to now. Anything British, I'm very, very hostile. I'm very hostile politely, anyways. So we are not one. They made a contract with them in the north to continue to help them rig, rig elections and make them rulers over who forever, of, over our dead bodies. We will not be part of that social contraction. So I want to speak to Mr. Peter Obi and his group. As God will take him to that post. If he gets there, he should storm the British High Commission and the British Buckingham Palace with a team of experts, historians, political scientists, administrators, People who are born in this country to renegotiate the social fraudulent bloody contraction called Nigeria. We were not one. We were different nations existing as one. They brought us together by the barrier of the gun. They destroyed many places, massacred people, raped women. They forced us together. We have never been one. We don't speak the same language. We don't eat the same food. We don't, we don't dress alike. How are we one? 
So it's a British and the Northern Nigeria conglomeration to continue to impoverish Nigerians. And now this generation is saying, come to reject our mentor. We reject it. So, but for now, we must give a democracy a chance for the very last time. I will join them to pick to pick guns if it doesn't work come next year. During the NSAS, I was one of the leaders in my own area. So I'm not a coward. At some point, it seemed like we are cowards, but we are not. We choose our fight and when to fight. Because we don't have a nation. It's just a business center. I don't support oppression. I don't support marginalization. I don't support criminality. I support justice, fairness, equity, rule of law. This is how life is everywhere around the world, where we are all running to. So, guys, all right. we must ask um, our, 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 our leader just now in the Liberal Party. God, we take him there with our vote. He should start. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Let me round up, sir. He should start by, first of all, healing the land and calling for a, na a national confab on, on the way forward. Thank you very much. And sorry, uh, Mr. Leftist, please, please. 30 seconds. I do not I, I do not also believe what they said about those things they found. The, the Nigerian police force are a set of comedians. They are, they are frustrated. They are starved. They are nowhere paid. So when you throw any money at them, they can say things. Those are not Biafran criminals. In fact, no criminal was showed. So I, I don't believe this thing. So we have this kind of police intelligence. We couldn't catch those that bombed our federal Federal Mazimon prison, Kujie prison. People that killed Deborah are still working scot free in the north. People that, you know, took over a whole railway line with now their passengers are still working scot free in the north. And they have intelligent tactical teams. I say, Kabutu, Rijetamenta to that fallacy. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Leftist, I have to apologize to Alex. Can I please just apologize to him? I think he misinterpreted what I said. Now, when I said that the Sultan of Sokoto is greater than the Oba of Benin, what I was referring to was back in August of 2021, when they had planned to install the Sultan of Shuwa, Arab, in your Edo states. I said, how can they be doing this? It's the great Benin Empire. But you're telling me now that the Sultan of Sokoto is not greater than the Oba of Benin. That's, that, that makes sense to me because I've always believed that the Benin Empire the great Benin people should be a people of their own, not influenced by other people. But when I saw them trying to install an emir back in August of 2021 in your Edo state, I said to myself, now, wow, what's this? Is it that? But are you it? also aware that we stopped it? Yeah, I, I was aware that you stopped it. But then when I saw them saying that, you know, every one of them. I, 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 are you aware they came on the TV to make apology to us? I saw them make apology, but I said, you know, in the art of war, since they're having 20 something children and you guys are only having four children, eventually just, just numbers don't win war, my brother. Okay. I, I'm just saying, it just seemed to me that there's strategy. Have you heard about there. the theories of gorilla fighting and, and, and the theory of warfare? I don't want you guys warfare, to rather? I don't want you guys to go into guerrilla warfare in your own Benin. So we're just talking. So my brother, know, all the kings now. are the same for now. Well, no king well. is bigger than I, any king I, among the first class I, 10 kings in nigeria I they are first class there are a thousand kings but they are just 10 first class in nigeria yes. 10. yes i believe that the uh, fulani also agree with you that their so their sultan of sokoto is not greater than your above or your above i don't care about what they do so long oh. they keep killing people they should take their madness far from the kingdom well they're multiplying in their numbers now they're outpopulating you guys pretty I, 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 and you think we are not multiplying our numbers no, it's just that they're having 27 kids uh, for every one. John, you're John, only having four think, or five. Let me put in a word, please. I think, I think that so, okay, is a please. different Can something. It's in entirely. A it told you please. that we choose our own word? fight. Everybody understand that we are in trouble in Nigeria. They, everybody agree that things are not working. But it is the approach that we are talking about here. They said, people, you need to defend your land. You can't send them with empty hand, wood and stick. To start a war, even the Brafa war started in the land of the Yoruba. This is my own fact, not in, in not in Brafa land. The first Nigeria combat between Brafa and Nigeria army started at Ore. You can see the distance. When you have a task in your hand, be sensitive how you push your people, because the same people you need to defend yourself. You may make mistake to push them in the wrong position. Say, may that not be our uh, portion. Well, Nigeria. Is a keg of gunpowder. Midwest people. It may explode Midwest any time. People. You say you, you say Nigerian Biafra war. Nigerian Biafra war. Biafra war started in Yoruba. Where? In Ore. 
That's, that was where the Nigerian where army and Rafa army entered combat. These people, you said Nigeria was in the Yoruba land. No, it was already. Adekule the Black please, Scorpion was the book, was the person who led the battalion. Excuse me, Midwest people. Yeah. started in Yoruba land. Where? There is no way Nigeria army can reach Calabaran without crossing the Midwest. Excuse so me, you should please. not put that one Excuse aside. Let us forget moment. about that. You said Midwest people, you said Nigeria Biafra was started. Listen. Listen. Can you listen to me, Biafra, me Midwest people? You said okay, let me. Biafra I'm listening. I'm listening. Yoruba land. Where? In Ore. Yes. That was Yoruba where the land. combat started. Start? Okay, where did it start? Uh, you, you said you, you said the re, listen, you there was a quarrel. I am not saying there was not a crisis. Let me clarify myself. I am not saying there was no killing between a tribal you killing. Said it was just Biafra was started in Europe land. The combat started at Ore. Every historian in Nigeria understands that there lie. was it's a lie. The combat, the it's a lie. The combat. Where did it start? It's a, it's Nigeria a big Biafra lie. War. It's a very big mm. lie, sir. Listen, don't, you don't. Okay, you, don't you clarify me. You history. clarify me where that war started from. It started in Gakem. Where? Gak in what region? Outside the Goja area, in Cross River State. Okay, Gak now you want to listen? You, know, you see, you see why we have problem when we go to history. Cross River, now. Nah. Cross River. Okay, State no, Gak you listen now. You listen. You listen. Right history, history, you my brother, go on. I, I also go. want to clarify myself ask, to you. Ask Let me tell you. Ask you said, ordinary you said, Google. You don't even need to go. No, it is. You see the problem we have in the south when we go to history. We divide more because we hate truth. I, I'm not, I'm, and instead I'm of we to go to truth yet, and know I'm how our enemy defeated us, yeah, we will yeah, argue yeah, against yeah, ourselves. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah, Ogoja yeah, for yeah, a yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, I want to tell you. Okay, you are okay. It too Please far. give us to two minutes. You say you give us to two minutes. Let it clarify. I will start in your land. I said no. Okay, clarify where it started. I'm only particular. Yes, let me, listen, listen. Nigeria Biafra war started. It started in a place called Gakem in Cross River State, which I said is a Goda area. That was in July 1967. One month after the declaration on July 7th or something, but it was in the month of July 1967 at Gakem. That was where it started. The first bullet was fired, not in Yoruba okay. land. And I will, I will, I want to, I want to clarify something to you. Why I make that reference? If I'm giving like to me, before any combat between Nigeria government, because I am saying for historical purpose for we to learn, we are not, we are not in a difficult situation. And that same thing is starting again. These things you are looking, because I see no reason why. So look, before anything happened, there was a region that separate your Eastern region and from Nigeria as a whole. That region was the first place to test the Brafa war. It was captured, a republic was declared by the same Brafas, not Nigeria government fighting now. I am just telling you history. And they like to bury all these errors we look if we don't uh, if we don't go deep to know exactly our error we will make it again i pray for that not to happen everybody is not happy no child is happy about this country i don't even know the country I is not our country we are to arrested you that is okay you may not agree is, with you may not question. agree with me it's i just like, throw like, something to hey, you now for historical like, purpose it's, 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 not, everybody everybody listen, every historian listen, understand listen, that listen understand that Ojuku declared Benin Republic. An example, just hold on, just a second. Please, listen. You are setting a different question and answering it yourself. You are, you, you are setting a different question and answering it yourself. It's like saying that today is Monday when everybody knows that today is Friday. That's all I've told you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doubting your history. You are trying to lecture us on. If today is Monday, and you tell us it's Friday, I'm trying to bring you back that today is Monday. It's a simple thing. I mentioned Gakem. Gakem is not Yoruba land. Gakem is in Cross River, outside the Ogoja. That's why I said you were wrong when you said Nigeria Biafran was started in Yoruba land. That was 
That's where I'm particular about. That's why I mentioned okay, Kakem. Thank you. Kakem is not thank a you. You may, you may be, you may be, you may be right on your own, but when you make history carefully, before it became a full scale war, a republic of Benin has been declared by the Brafa because the territory has been captured. And the Nigeria government at this time were not able to protect the Midwest people. It is in our history, it is very clear. But when you try to sideline this area, why am I saying this thing? I am seeing a situation that is very dangerous. The political gladiators in Nigeria want the power crook and hook, and in a situation where people are so hungry. I don't know why we follow the election. I pray for peace to reign, but we must know where we made mistakes. Everybody continue to blame Fulani for everything. And that is why they are not careful. They will lose again. Fulani did not stay this, elect, uh, this, uh, this democracy. A Yoruba man from Satru for good eight years. We could not see what has been happening to us for years. Power came to Sasat. We are not able to see this, this problem. But we are the most educated and most degree, degree, degree people. At the end now, if Fulani is ruling, we want to see it as the only people that has created problems for this country. This is the how we need to see ourselves as one and abolish history of you were the only person that was wrong. You must come and apologize. You were the only person that started this problem. It cannot help us. They are not the one even holding us. It is the distrust among us based on history that have been polluted in the southern part of Nigeria that is keeping us on this bondage. Quote me anywhere and people will know very well I'm saying the fact. If we know the right history, we will get out of this mess. They are not our problem. We don't know our territories. We don't know how to divide ourselves. We are be so we cannot sit down and talk as people. It's a problem. Every time you want us to see them, we can continue to see them, but they are advancing. As that man rightly said, are they not on our doorstep? Let us put it that way now. What John said. They are there already. So even when we still say we are whom we are, but are they on our doorstep? The answer is yes. Just transfer whatever John and ask to what I'm saying then you will understand that we are really in serious trouble. The certain part of Nigeria is in total mess. We should know because we are not united and we are not strategized people. So I leave my case there so that other people can say their own. Well, uh, since you people don't finish an argument between where war for start, where war for not start, me, I kept quiet to be listening to you people because me, I'm not just interested in where the war started and where it did not start. All my interest here is Come 2023, let's have the right set of leadership. Okay. That's my only interest. This history are very important, but it's not they are not what we need right now. We've suffered enough. We've suffered enough. They've used all of us. They've made us to believe certain things which are not true. They've made us to see ourselves as enemies. It is just a chess game. If only we can understand the game, it's the, 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 the divide and rule component they are using to make us look like we are nobody, just to make them continue to have the opportunity to confuse us and make us see them as they are above us. We are all equal before, before humanity and before God. Nobody is above anybody. We must take it back. We must claim it back. The, 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 the issue is for us to get a better Nigeria. If you watch, this uh, secession is being brought by what? Is it not bad leadership? You had an Adukamo saying he cannot trust them anymore. You had him saying, yes, he will keep pushing civilizedly, not by war. He, he gave examples exactly. of how we've been exactly. he gave example of how we've been we've been all be cheated, how we'll be oppressed, how we'll be marginalized, that we need a total restructuring. If things were working the way it is, do you think there will be room for someone like Sode go no. There will be need for Sodo Bo. Sodo Bo came as a result of bad government, failure of the central powers to protect him and his people. He saw the he saw the plan and he became angry. 
if everything is normal, we would have this problem now. Same way the player that said he's dedicated his winning to the Arab world. Let's take it from there. Some of these people does not really believe in any other persons. Some of these people actually have something in mind. They think they are more better than every other person. And this is the case we are having in our countries. And we need to change it from now on. We need to understand that we are one people, same people, same straight. Nobody's a dummy. Sometimes we say the daughter people are not white. Yes, because their leader made them to look like that. If you take them to school, introduce them, expose them, they will be better and good like me and you. Nobody's an MSI. So they are deliberately putting these people behind for them not to know the truth in order to make use of them. It is a war. We are not saying it. It's a war. We need to continue to fight. So we're going to give room to... Um, Yes, Chibos or Ardi. It's uh, good to have you back. I thought I was. Yeah. To... Uh, oh. yeah. Good evening, uh, good, uh, good day, Mr. Niger Ward. Good, good day, everybody listening. Um, you know, I just uh, lost contact previously, but now yeah. uh, I managed to come back. Um, I listened to most of the panelists. They spoke. They have spoken well and. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, reference to the video you just posted, um, uh, none of the panelists can be able to analyze that video. And uh, this, uh, the, 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 that very declaration, the terms and conditions that is involved that put Nigeria into darkness today was mentioned in that declaration. And uh, I believe none of the panelists can be able to pick it up. Um, when, the, when Philip Epson was making that declaration, uh, according to the terms and conditions, he's loyal to the present uh, political platform they have as of then, and uh, uh, they surrender to the North Federal, uh, North Federal Republic of Nigeria, they surrender to. They surrender to uh, Federal, Repu Federal Military of Nigeria. Uh, and they, they are loyal to their every policy and the terms and condition they give them to surrender, to make them to surrender in that war. And uh, you can see the declaration, he said that every future arrangement in the constitution, he talked about the constitutional arrangement in that very declaration. Bam. He said that every, oh, every future uh, constitutional arrangement should involve every Nigerians. And that very constitution, is what is causing us a problem today. And that amendment was amended by Abacha, which is still the same military government and the same terms and conditions that make those difference to surrender still remain in the <clears throat> inside our assault rock today. Nobody can be able to change that very constitution. Bam. And this is what... Hello? Go ahead. Okay. And the, that... This is the area where all this, uh, 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 let me say, the, the military head of state, which dominated by the Northerners, you know, lay their hand and make sure that that power transparency, that leadership transparency, that administration transparency could not exist in the Nigerian uh, civil society, in the Nigerian judicial system of law. They just, it just, they just impose democracy to us. But according to that very declaration, there was no constitutional arrangement. There is no constitutional amendment. There is no constitution that said in that very declaration that all people are included. They just write it in a paper, and you can see there is none of those happening in our society today. And that is why the Philippians said that Biafra is here, ceases to exist. And that, thing, that grammar there was so complicated. It's a very complex grammar. Seizes, meaning that you have seized it. It's not dead. It's still breathing. You seize it or you lock it up somewhere. In a very good day, if the jailbreak, he can be able to escape again and start making trouble. And uh, because of the constitution, because, 
<laughs> they don't get it. Uh, they don't get it. <laughs> you know. So and uh, uh, now uh, the, the 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 person you have seized have or have now wake up again and uh, uh, became active again because of the constitutional arrangement was not properly agreed the way they they signed it there. So and that is why you see the Biafra right now. Because he has come here, ceases to exist. Now he has now the, uh, came back again because he's still alive. He never died because of those constitutional arrangements was not implemented and it was not done properly. And uh, another thing I want to add up in um, in that Abu Accord, they went to Ghana to uh, have an arrangement on it. Uh, uh, the people who engineered that very Abu Accord was the British. The British was the orchestrator of those uh, 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 Abri Accord. So when they went, when the when British called Kwame Nkrumah and to organize that meeting in uh, Aburi, so the outcome of that Aburi was so successful. Everybody agreed on it. Everybody was happy. And the, what was the agreement was every uh, all the civil servants, the military, the, all the security agencies. The not the, those who reside in the north. Uh, if you are from the south, if you are residing in the north, you must return back to the north. The Yorubas should go back to the Yorubas with their uh, military hardware and whatever. Ibos must go and Wausas must go. Uh, then and the center, which is Abuja, everybody should be reporting to the center. So and uh, when the British, the, it wasn't uh, a war. The British, when that when after the meeting. British uh, uh, go and have to report back to the British, and the British told him no, that he mustn't accept that, because if he accepts that, that will be a, that will bring a division between uh, uh, between the Nigeria they have created, because they spend a lot of time to create this so-called Nigeria and bring them together. But if they agree in that Babri Accord, immediately they get to Nigeria, uh, go and have to make announcement so that every uh, active, uh, uh, um, uh, active, uh, active government uh, government officials should return back to their state. So Gowan couldn't make that. He couldn't do that because uh, after British have told him, no, don't make that declaration because that will bring a very big division between all of you. So Gowan from sick, he never make that declaration. He never make any announcement. So and uh, that is where uh, Ojuku now. Went and consulted Ohanel and Dibo. Actually, Ohanel and Dibo was the only the one who gave him the power to even, you know, engage in a war that they are behind him. You know, there was a lot of controversy anyway. But the problem was the outcome of that taboo was every region should, everybody should be active in their region and uh, let Abuja control the whole thing so that uh, 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 there would be peace in Nigeria. But uh, Gowan never implemented it, and uh, that was where everybody started uh, having, you know, misunderstanding. And that is when the war now started. Thank you. Yes, uh, let me quickly correct your English. That ceases to exist, meaning it is locked somewhere. There's nothing like locked somewhere, where, and it is ceases to exist. It means it's no more existing from there thereof. So let not twist it here. This is uh, we are no leftist. Leftist, you missed the point. There are condition. There were conditions to the. Uh, there were conditions Listen to the to end. Me. Of the you, 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 I leftist. don't miss no point. No, no, you missed no. it. You missed it. What are the you, conditions you, to the end of the, the after Don't war? interject. Don't interject. You don't even know the conditions, leftist. The right word continue to exist when anything ceases to exist. It means. It not in existence. But uh, then, left, can I if, say something? If hold on, please. Okay. Unless you people want me to leave this place for you, you cannot be no, don't go. fucking. I'm not finished. You you think you know more than me? If you know more than me, please come on, I'll call it. I miss the point. How? I'm, because this, you I'm, I'm just to talking of the English. You try to 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 change the English to something else. In English language, anything that from there off ceases to exist, meaning it has stopped. Not it has it it has it's not dead. 
But when there, there is a condition to it, and the condition that, that, that made it to cease is not met, it means I can't trust you no more. We agree that if I must cease, you must do this, you must do that, you must do this. And you refuse to do this. It means you are broken the contract. That's why he was making a play on words. That's why he was joking around. That's why it's not ceasing to exist. Don't you get it? That's why he was joking with you. You're taking it too literally. He's talking more about the conditions in which the Biafran War ended, which have not been fulfilled. Thus, it does, it's not ceasing to exist. Well, secessionist, like Alice said, every group of people have the right to choose what they want, where they want to live. All this is what we'll be talking about. If we have a good leader, a unifier, a leader that listens, a leader that gives everybody what they want and treat everybody same, a leader that operates under one law, we need a lot of restructuring. A cookie pot for the camelon is a cookie pot for the lizard. You cannot use a particular pot to cook camelon and you are using another pot to boil the lizard. No, not the same pot. If we need Nigeria, this is the time. We must be sincere. We must be serious. We won't make it across board. If it is 10 naira for me, it is 10 naira for you, no matter what. No condition attached. Work for it. The cheating is just too much. And this is why secession are coming in. Where one region thinks they own it all. And it is wrong. No region should own it all. No region. We are, if we are one, we are one. If we are not one, we are not one. So if you are missing it, that is why I agree. If we miss it in 2023, there's going to be a lot of problems. Yes. Yes. That's why we are saying, let's vote Peter Obi come 2023. A man we think and we know that will bring us out of so much of this problem we are facing. A man that doesn't look at certain things, he does it the way it should be. If it's 10 error, please take your 10 error and make sure you use it wisely. How can a country be operating on two laws? Sharia laws and Nigeria constitution. Then, if we must do that, we should allow every other region to also create their law. There are people serving Ogu. Ogu have law. There are people serving Siago. There are people serving so many things. They can also implement in their area their laws. Yes. Nobody is against doctrine. If you have if you're a religious man, you want to create your doctrine within your confines of your religion, create it. Let it be for just you and your people, not other people. So you cannot bring your doctrine into our constitution and use it to whip all of us. Nigeria will not be one if we miss it. And it is so clear. People have been like, people seem not to be aware of this why. People seem to be quiet. But now, you know, we, there's this parable that we have to put sand or bland man, soup, you go fill up. The sand, sand done too much since APC came into power. Since Buhari came, it became too clear that Nigeria is not for us. It's for certain people. You cannot be using our military to oppress us. You cannot be using our military to force us to do what you want. All in the name of religion. 
You cannot be using our ability to protect few set of people. No. There's no way the world is done. You cannot be forcing your cow into all of us. It's not by force. It's a personal business. This is where the problem is. So the bull came up as a result of too much of killing, too much of oppression. A lot of this thing started, just like somebody said, Kugi, uh, some uh, other region wanted to leave. Killings became too much. And we know them, you know them. And you are encouraging them. At the time, they said, yeah, it is their right. Just like area boys in Lagos are doing. So these people are also doing, doing their own. Does it make sense? They released how many numbers of Boko Haram of recently? These are known people, known destroyer, known killers. They were released. Pardon. Why did they not pardon now the coming? If it is not because of what they are doing, would it have been that under the canoe would have saying protect yourselves? Mr. Elvis, that is that is that a constitutional arrangement by the Nigerians. That is where it falls into. That the ten, uh, that the constitutional uh, uh, arrangement. And that you, constitutional that arrangement is, is what we're going to change. We must change it. It's not favoring us. We must use one constitution, one law for the country. There must not be two law in any region. No. One natural law. If you want to make your personal law in your state, you can make a state law. Yes, not a law that will become a religious law. Religion is personal. We are talking of law. Religion is personal. My belief. Bel I mean, respect my belief. The new prime minister of uh, UK, what was his name? He's not a Christian. Before he came, we saw him holding cow, some news, and you saw him doing some sacrifice before he get to his office. Did anybody kill him for that? His personal interest, his religion, what he believes in, it does not affect you. It's him, it's me. So religion should be personal. If the northern people want to, want to drive Sharia, let them use it within themselves. Let them not use it against any other person that is not a Muslim. That is why we are having this problem. Let's say it the way it is. We must say the truth. You can't come to my region. I go to church. And when you pass through my church, whatever you do, we don't care. We talk to you and we don't kill you. Then when I come to your region, I say one thing. You kill me. You stone me to death. What is the meaning of that? Is that not barbaric? No, let's... You see, no, if they are listening to us, is that not barbaric? That is barbaric. But they said more equal. They said they, no, they no. but they said they spread by the sword. It's by force. I don't. I maybe maybe not understanding how they spread. You see, it's a war. Whether we like it or not, the America has been fighting the same war. It's a war against the nation. The Arab nation want to take over the world. It's a competition. So they are doing everything possible to make sure they grab you, take over everything. And if we don't fight, they won't stop. Anywhere they are in the world, they cause this problem. It's a war. Just look at the just concluded football. Moroccan football. We had what a player said is to the Arab nation. Not to the to the Arab nation. So it's a war between um, the, the a certain religion trying to show themselves and take over. That is what we are facing in Nigeria. As, let's not just run away from it. The truth about all this is, is a war. And these people are so indoctrinated, they don't want to hear. And they are very local. Local that they have no strength. They can't even fight you. They don't have that strength. Because they are so local and they don't have this strength, they are not even civilized. So they try to plant their people in places where there is power and use the power to your own power to fight you. That's what they are doing. It almost happened to UK now. 
we all know the story now. They, were, they wanted to infiltrate the, the, the royal house. Are we going to say we don't know the story? The death of Diana, is it ordinary? They infiltrated, they wanted to get into the power. That's what they are doing. It's a war. So not until we know the truth. All this one will be saying is just blah, 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 blah. This is the truth. And if we are not ready to make us all one, the same, use one law, we we'll become, if this problem will continue, certain areas, certain people, they're going to be picking people that can talk, add them to the say, give them everything, back them up. It's a war. We are already in war. If you are waiting for us to carry a gun, no, we are already in war. And so we have to be very clever. If we must win this war. It is now. Look at everybody in the government institution. How many Igbo man is the head? Or Bini man is the head? Or Yoruba man is the head? Is it not the planted Mughals? People that cannot write nor read. Look at them coming to talk. Did they talk like normal human being that has it? No. That's for you to know that it's a war. They are taking over the head of affair. They will use it against you. You use it. You she will be Mumu now. Would they would they would they would they allow them now? Now we give them the chance, make that they overuse us now. They even have PVCs. Naturally, I don't want to talk about tribe, but it has come to the to the to the extent that we need to say it the way it is. And this is just the problem we have. If we don't have this problem. Nobody will cry out. I go to my work. You go to your work. You do your production. You, I do my production. You bring it to the market. We use the same money to buy. They sell law. If I cheat, the law takes me. If you cheat, the law takes you. If they catch, those are the catch. If we can do this, nobody will want. We will not be having this much problem. We will not. But it's all clear. It's very clear. So. We have been here for, we're just going to, how many people that have not spoken? Okay, I don't think we have well, We should I'm give talking. a minute round so we can round up. Yes, as I was talking, I think some people missed on Super Chat. Daniel, thank you very much, Daniel. Uh, thank you for your Super Chat. I think that's the only one that came in. No, so we're no, going to be we have, up. we have another one here. Okay, it's Daniel. Daniel so, is all true. It's Daniel... Daniel, Daniel, okay, thank you so Daniel, much. Daniel, Daniel. Yeah, God bless you, Daniel, for the support. Been Daniel is yeah. just like, he's doing Christmas. Today's our Christmas day. All right. Um, not let's me move on. Who, who is talking? Uh, CBD. Yes, we are going to do a, a roundup now, so we close. You already contributed earlier on. No, that's the other topic now. Boys, okay. No, somebody, please oh, talk to us. Oh, Just so you have not us. talked on this particular one still? No, he has no, not. No, no. Can you imagine? Wow. You are very patient, oh, oh. as you know. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. On the, the, on the F young. F young. No. Yeah, uh, thank please. you. Please. Go, go ahead. Hold on, Mr. CM. Your network is always bad. Go on, you see, Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Mr. CM. I don't know. I thought uh, in London everything is uh, smooth. Well, uh, <laughs> the the thing is, uh, uh, these people of um, like what left is just uh, we're just talking about, you know. And that's one thing we need to we don't need, we need to understand. Like, if you come to the if you come to the to the Christians, you know, uh, we need we need to we need to watch out for all this all these charlatans and con men that come that tries to you know parade themselves as uh, uh, you know followers of Christ why some of them we know that they are all just uh, business people looking for money you know not just good business bad business you know fake business people then when it comes to uh, Islam you, you have to be able to also look out for the extremists you know uh, there are some of them that are doing it uh, the way it's supposed to be. Like I always say, that true Islam is not bad, you know, but uh, at the same time, there are those that are 
are doing it, uh, uh, you know, in a different way with some kind of agenda, pushing some kind of agenda of some politicians. And we always used to make the mistake thinking that some of these uh, politicians from, the, let's say, for example, uh, the North or somewhere, we think that they are, they are all uh, genuine uh, Muslims. No. For some of them, they use it as a means of, uh, they use that religious, uh, uh, you know, um, authority that they have somehow to kind of, uh, you know, push their own agenda of uh, maintaining power, political power. And that's how they've been doing across uh, Africa in some places. So we need to be very careful. Um, almost every region in the South, maybe apart from the Southeast, uh, uh, you know, have a significant amount of uh, Muslim. I think the Yorubas about over 40%. I don't know how, how the current... Uh, standing but then you come even to the south south i think uh, there are some places in uh, south south that also have muslim although they are not much uh, i think even asari dokubo himself is one i'm not saying that uh, i'm just saying that just the same way we have to look after look for those people in christianity we also look for you know everybody have their own challenges then uh then this thing of the ipob uh, issue the thing is that uh, like i was saying uh, like, you know, it's just quite unfortunate that uh, the media cannot be trusted. It can, they cannot be trusted. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we know that um, uh, what Mr. Alex was saying, and I think uh, people that are IPOB, me, I'm not an IPOB member, people that are all doing into all that should also understand there is a lot of people that share the, that are in the same school of thought with uh, Mr. Alex. You know, not necessarily like uh, IPOB members. They are not IPOB members, but they understand what is going on. And you cannot always think that uh, this IPOB and Biafra issue will be uh, you're, either in Bia you're either for Biafra or against Biafra. No. There are some people that will be like, okay, I understand what you guys are doing, but we need to, the strategy, the approach needs to be uh, in a way that um, it will not endanger the life because it's, at the end of the day, a lot of people are not uh, ready to put the you know their self or their loved ones in harm's way. So, and that is where the disconnect is sometimes. So it's not like we are not seeing all these things, but you need to be able to make sure that you do not allow any kind of frustration make you to uh, you know just act out of. Uh, you know that emotion, or you know, because uh, at the end of the day, <clears throat> at the end of the day, you're the one that will be uh, that, that will lose. You're, you're the one that will be uh, in harm's way because they have the firepower and all that. You know, but having said that, I also don't believe that um, uh, that video because uh, it's not. Uh, you know, there's a lot of contradiction. And I don't know how many minutes was that video and showing why they should have also shown us the people that they are or did they, didn't they catch anybody in the, you know, in this in the uh, vehicle, you know, they just showed us the the the, the flag and they showed us a few open the I don't know what those things are, saying that there's a factory and all that. So is the factory in that building? No, nothing was explained, uh, unless if the video is uh, not the full video. I uh, maybe um, I don't know. So it's, uh, you know, it's just quite unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. So, but the Biafra thing, to be honest with you, with the way Nigeria is going, I'm telling you sometimes it's very hard to, 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 to make a case for one Nigeria because the government, the federal government, a lot of things that they are handling very wrong. So how do you even, uh, you know, to make a case? Like we're talking about somebody in the North being... Uh, uh, a, 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 you know, sentenced for execution, you know, in the same country through Sharia. And you're saying that if somebody have their own law in the South or their own region is wrong. So there's just quite a lot of things that is wrong. And I feel like uh, if the, if the uh, federal government wants everybody to be one Nigeria within uh, one week, they'll do it. It's just, it's very simple. That's why when Peter B is talking, he's talking about it's very simple. You will hear him when he wants to talk about security, say it's simple. When he wants to talk about uh, economy, say it's simple. It's just a matter of ha having the the will 
to make sure that the country is fixed. Because if they want, they'll just it's a matter of just kind of addressing the key issues facing the country and all these things. I'm telling you all the security, ev everything we are seeing is, is just the willingness or the willpower or just even the decision to do it is what the government is lacking. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that they cannot do some of these things. And that's why we have to give Peter Obi a chance. And, uh, 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 you know, you cannot just be somewhere and assume that everything is, has already gone uh, to hell because at the end of the day, um, you you don't know all. You don't know everything. So we give Peter Obi a chance. We believe that uh, uh, there is a chance. And uh, if it is rigged, we are all going to see it. And uh, they know that if it is rigged, everybody's interest will be you know, will be uh, out of this, uh, you know, will, will disappear from being uh, one country. So uh, I just believe that we need to just hold ourselves together and uh, make sure that uh, we bring Peter Obi in power. Thank you. Yes. Let's on to the next person. Um, the reason why we gave that long term to ECBD is because you have not contributed. So every other person, please, you're going to have one more minute. We're rounding up now. We've been here now for the past five hours. So I'm going to start with Chibuza Adi. Please give your one minute submission, sir. Yeah, thank you again, Mr. Niger Watch and the listeners and panelists. Um, what I want to encourage everybody here and uh, I want to advise everybody is uh, um, according to the video you play, which uh, review, I keep on repeating it, uh, which review the constitutional review and the constitutional and the arrangement with the Nigerians. Uh, is, you were actually the one that drawn our attention to that video because Ima told yes. me that you requested yes. for it. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Thank you. Yeah, be because of... Uh, uh, if you look at the if, if you look at the declaration, because that is the reason why you show that video, that declaration was uh, a fraud. How why I say it's a fraud is because uh, the 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 agreement was not uh, implemented, and the both uh, and the, the party which uh, the Biafran surrendered to uh, did not meet the mandate. And that is why uh, I said that uh, when the, the when 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 the person said that uh, Biafra is here to free, it ceases to exist, um, I mean that uh, when you see something, you seize it. You didn't kill it; you just seize it. Then later you release it, or the person escape. So that means that the person have escaped and became okay. alive again, and they start doing his own thing again. So we need to look into that constitutional reform, if we, not, if, we, if we want to get Nigerian right, we need to revise the fixtures and make sure that that the military that the law that the military impose on us, we need to visit it and make sure that uh, Nigerians come together, according to Philip Epsion, and uh, now make a proper constitution that can drive Nigeria forward. Because current constitution are imposed to us by the military, and that is what we are using today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shibuza Adi. I really appreciate you. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. At least, even me myself, I didn't have knowledge of that at all. So you actually uh, broadened me on that. So that's why I said on this platform, we all are learning from each other. Nobody's better or known than anybody. We are learning from each other. How Nigeria will become a better place is what we all are fighting. And we have the hope already. This Mr. Peter will be, even when we know that some people, they are not happy. Uh, they are not following Peter Obi. That's fine. It's just it's very very small margin. It's just like five percent is against this movement of Peter Obi. So why should we worry about that? And John is part of the five percent people. I want to make a verse more. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, I have a uh, uh, let's move on. Midwest people, my brother, please talk to us. Yeah, I will say <laughs> that um, I'm still appealing that these challenges that is so, before us as a people of Nigeria so is, uh, oh, is a problem of everybody. Skin. We must be sensitive to how we approach it because it's very volatile and we don't know the direction it's going to take us. To. And uh, I will still appeal to those who champion 
sit at home, when you know that this your command is dividing your people, you stop it. But your people are united. I don't think we can stand against the storm. The people we are dealing with, I understand them. They are ready for all scenario. And they are always trying to strategize. You can't even predict them. And because they have a lot of chances that they are be exploiting in the, against us. One, history. One, we are so divided. Third, we are, the, the level of distrust among us, I don't know how we're going to treat it. So, but if we are patient, because the it is 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 touching everybody, is even touching the people you are accusing. Even so, occasionally, if you analyze this, it's more than us. Let us go for political uh, uh, party. God has raised us a man. The purpose of raising Peter will be is to save soul. Jonathan did it in the past, and I believe Peter will be will also be in that position for us to lay Thank a you. fresh foundation. A foundation that we allow every one of us, whether it's north south of, of the country, whether everybody, we will come to a place to say, this is not the land our ancestors labor for. So let us build a new nation. Like that, my brother said, it ceased to exist. If young, the way interpreted is very correct. Nigeria government has released it, and many brafa is in everywhere. Igbo is in somewhere, it's because of the same thing. I, as a Bini person, I'm not happy with the situation in Nigeria. Likewise, you that is here. It's just the yeah. that is keeping everybody to be, you know, watching carefully. So many Brafa is already hard from is where they see it to be because Nigeria government fee fail to treat what caused the first problem. So that is why many is in everywhere. You. It's just that people are turning blind, at, but it is approaching. But may God help us to see it. Thank you. Thank you. So much, thank you. All right, uh, CM, you are going to be the last person that will talk. Maybe by then your internet will be good. Let's move on now to before that. Let me quickly acknowledge uh, Jerison Obasuan. Jerison Obasuan, thank you so much for this wonderful uh, some um, support. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for in fact for your continuous support. Thank you. May God bless you. May God replenish your pocket. Every one of you that have supported us today. I want to say we are grateful. Thanks for the encouragement. Thanks for the pushing. For you guys are the one pushing us to do more, you know. And really, we are putting more effort to really give you the best. That's all. So we come here, we submit a video for you, we talk on it, and we allow you people to also air your own views. So yeah, that's what we are doing here. Together with togetherness, we achieve Peter Obi. Thank you, my people. All right. Um, let's move on now to. Alex, Mr. Alex, talk to us. You have your one minute. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Najawash. Thank you so much. First of all, I want to render my sincere apologia or apologies to the house for the fortuitous or for the adventitious or estepo and impromptu adverse. I'm so sorry uh, to the to the platform. It's a it's, it's a debate. Go to national assembly sometimes of different countries. You see the current chair carrying the maze, it, it, it happens. So it's not uh, in my usual character to do this, but maybe today I was fired up by some things I saw of the suffering Nigerians. So my sincere apology to Mr. John E. You, you are my brother. You will always be my brother, in spite of the I, I, ideological dichotomy. So yes, that aside, and uh, apologies to those on the comment section if you feel embarrassed or insulted over my outburst, we, we will set up a committee to look into this. But first of all, my sincere apology. <laughs> That's on the left hand note. Um, I remain a pro Biafran person. I, with the way Nigerian government has led the country since 1970, it, they now accentuated it. They now made it obvious that Ojuku was right. Ojuku will be turning in his grave. No, knocking all those people who sent message to Lagos to dislodge Go One. Those of them who are dead already, they'll be fighting over there. So I told you, look at the country. So uh, the country is a complete mess. This is why everybody is talking about Biafra today. If, if Biafra was really existing, everybody would have been going there to seek for, for political residency, to be honest, to, to go and invest and okay. buy 
and buy and buy real estate and have citizenship or something. Thank you. So, guys, we let's look for a way we can bring in Peter Obi with our PVC. Our leaders have failed us. We have to be united now. I call on uh, Samuel Ekba to cease fire, whether it's been sponsored or not. He should preach peace and let's give peace a chance so we can salvage the whole country for Mr. Peter Obi. This is the time for us to really be very, very wise. And I call on all the Igbo's uh, political gladiators, the, the governors, the senators, they should stop being puppets of the Fulani killer machine in Abuja. We have to save this country and sit down and, re and, and, and rethink on the way forward. So once again, thank, thank you very much, guys. God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, before we, we I move on to the next person, um, yes, I would like to quickly confirm this. You know, to let you guys know that um, yes, the Labour Party candidate uh, for hold on, my people. Let me take this off screen. Let me take this off screen. Good. And uh, let me take the other one off. One minute. Okay, the Labour Party House of Assembly candidate shot dead in Imo states. Okay, so no, nothing on the screen left is please. Ah. So the Labour Party candidate of House of Assembly um, showed dead, as you all can see right there. Let's quickly go through with this. Um, yeah, that's it. The Labour Party state of Assembly candidate of Unuomo, local government in Unuomo State, Honorable Christopher Eleho. El was shot and killed yesterday by unknown gunmen. Honorable Elohu, aka Wasco, was assassinated in his home late Thursday night, just yesterday night. His assailant also burned down his house and cars. This sad development is coming amidst a recent resurgence of attack by suspected members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, and Apple. It's very sad though. It's very, very sad. When I saw this earlier on, I was very heartbroken that what is happening? Why is this happening? You know, if you check what Samuel Ekma or whatever everybody is doing right now, if trust me, I've used this same platform to, to advocate for IPOB in the past. You know, the only time you are not hearing this from me now is because I'm focusing on Peter Obi. Of course, I want a better Nigeria, but not by killing people. Not by taking people's lives, not by because people are not sharing the same ideology with you. Then the next thing is for you to take their lives. These killings of a thing, I'm not supporting it. To be honest, you that is supporting it, you might be the next. You're not the next. It might be your, your members of your family. You never know. This is wrong. I'm not in support of it at all. And I have um, another message here, you know, from your Doshi to Samuel Ekwa. Yole Doshi sent a message to Samuel Ekba, you know, um, as you all can see there, though, uh, let me see if I can make this bigger. One minute, my people, let me see if I can make it bigger here. Although I know you guys cannot read it, but I will see if I can read it from here. I mean... Uh, okay, while I'm trying to do this, because I really need to put this right there. Uh, Niger, I want to talk about that uh, something they just showed that they said is IPOB factory. They cut on, they showed there, that yellow one, there is a label there. And that okay. label there, uh -uh. It, re it, it, it reflects the kind of chemicals that are there. So, and the what it reflects there, Everything was important. Nigeria don't nobody in Nigeria will print that kind of carton or do anything and even pay attention to something that was tape the, the stapler on that carton. You understand me? It, it reflects the nature of chemical goods that was in that carton. The, Nigeria don't care about that. They don't know anything about those kind of things. Nobody in Nigeria. If that is why the police showcase that carton, it just complicated every those things have lie, hundred percent lie. IPOB don't have hand in what they are presenting. I'm telling you. Nobody mm. should believe them yeah okay all right uh thank you very much um let's quickly read this um 
sit at home won't bring Biafra, Yole Doshi writes Simon Ekba. Nollywood actor Yole Doshi has warned Finland based separatist Simon Ekba that his sit at home orders won't result in the Biafra he is fighting for. In a tweet on Friday, he said, Dear Simon Ekba, sit at home will not bring Biafra suffering sick. Your own people will not bring Biafra. Nigeria wasn't joined by Emeka or Shioma. Nigeria was joined by the British government for their own personal reasons. Therefore, suffering your people to make a point is of no use. Suggesting a solution, Edoshi, who is also a film director, said, to achieve Biafra, we must find peaceful and diplomatic ways to make the world hear our voice. And it starts by preaching love, peace, and unity among Indigo. Using violence on people will only bring division, and a divided house can never achieve 